Hello, my air signs. Welcome to your energetic check-in for the week ahead. So anything you want to know about this reading is down below in the description. It will be the details down there that are uh, a general reading. If you would like a personal reading with me and you are outside of Canada, please book over at wisio.com. If you are in Canada, please book at uh, just by emailing me, lc at tenacupstarot.ca, or you can email me through my website, um, which is tenacupstarot.ca. All right, so I am here to do Libra. Uh, Gemini and Aquarius. So first of all, we are going to start with Libra. And uh, it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, I would really appreciate if you would um, give me a thumbs up if you like the content here, because that is what helps me grow. That's what that's what helps me be seen on this platform. And the longer I'm here, the longer I can just continue to offer these free readings for you. So if you would um, like share and subscribe to one or more of my videos. Um, I would be so happy. Well, you can only subscribe once, but you know what I mean. Okay, so here we go, Libra. We are starting with the overall energy for you. The overall energy is we have the hanged man. So you're in a, in a uh, specific sort of thought pattern right now. You are thinking heavily about something, trying to see something from a different perspective. And um, also, um, how does uh, your person, how does your person feel about you? Let's find that out. Your person feels as though they want to, um, they want to ask you out, want to take you out on a date. It looks like there is an opportunity of starting something new coming in. It could be an opportunity in business, an opportunity in love. And um, how do they view you? They view you as someone who is a healer, someone who can help them heal, someone who is kind-hearted and sweet, someone who is um, more connected to the universe than they understand. And that is what gives the temperance. So I feel like they, that you are, um, or they see, sorry, they see, view you, Libra, as someone who is very connected um, to the universe and connected to yourself. Action and advice from the universe is the devil. So just make sure that you've got a hold on anything that you might consider or that anyone might consider an addiction. And what is an addiction? Anything that you put before anything else that is important in life. So that would be, you know, drugs, drugs that are legal, drugs that are illegal. If you buy too many shoes, if you buy too many purses, if you play too many video games, those are all addictions. And what is the outcome here? The outcome is the judgment in reverse. So someone who wants to come forward from the past, but is scared to do so. Um, there is uh, no reconciliation here. I feel like this person could reach out to you, Libra, and say, hey, how you doing? It's been a long time since I've seen you, but I feel as though um, you don't really have any interest in any sort of reconciliation or resurrecting this friendship, and I feel like this person is going to feel that. Um, you may or may not answer that message, and um, I feel, to be honest, when, when it comes in that you may not message it. I feel like right now you're in the hanged man energy, but I feel like this is your energy as well. So I feel like you are are um, looking for love, essentially looking for happiness, emotional fulfillment. Um, I feel like you feel that you are with someone who is your your um, your soulmate now. So that's why I feel like you won't be answering that judgment call. And um, you have manifested this person, and you have success. And I think this is what you are choosing for. Um, you know your your um, happiness. I think your um, uh, wish, wishes and happiness that are coming in. I feel like um, that you have manifested all of that. All right, let's take a look at some clarifications here. There we go. So the overall energy is the hanged man. You're deep in thought about something. What is it that you're thinking about, Libra? Let's see what it is that you're thinking about. What is Libra thinking about? Thinking about maybe moving away from a chaotic way of thought and moving towards some sort of work. And I feel like the work that you want to involve yourself in um, has to do with um, something that you already know. So I feel like you already have the skills that you need in order to 
uh, work at what you want to accomplish. And I feel like the hanged man energy is where you are. Looking at it from every particular point of view, I feel like there's a little bit of a perfectionist in you. And I feel like um, whatever work this is that you do is going to um, give you the calm. I think leading up to it, there's a lot of anxiety, um, not really knowing what will go on. But I think that once you do make the decision, Two of Swords, to move forward finally uh, without thinking about this again, I feel like, um, look, there's the hermit. So you really are thinking hard. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like you, you feel like this is almost a, a last ditch effort to talk to someone about the work that you really love. And um, that uh, the Seven of Coins tells me that you're still going to wait a little bit before you do anything. I think it's really just fear. Um, Nine of Swords. Yeah, you feel like the wounded warrior. You've done this over and over before. Maybe had some doors slammed in your face, but um, maybe just really too scared to, to move past the Nine of Swords. So I feel like you need to, first of all, um, put down the swords, move along, stop with the overthinking, stop with the, you know, anxiety and depression at night when you're trying to go to sleep. You just need to calm your mind in order to be able to move forward here. Tell me about this um, Knight of coins please knight of coins is the fountain so you're coming forward to the light from the dark you've been in sort of a dark um uh, kind of mood, I would say, for a while. And it isn't until recently where you just started to lighten up a bit. So you have decided that you have enough strength to go to the crossroads and um, that you are going to pick a new passion, a new um, a new way to, f you're going to figure out a new way that you can share your passion. I feel like the old you is no longer um, the person who was the cynic, uh, the person who didn't think that they could do this, make this, this money roll this ten of this ten of coins and I think that um, when you do see the first money roll in this is what is going to be part of your temperance you have a lot of opportunities out there so whatever it is that you're going to do for work is going to bring in many opportunities for you to take many different passionate routes to the thing that you want emotional happiness I feel like in the past that you have been worried that um, you would fail I think but the Six of Cups tells me that this is something that you've been doing since you could walk and talk. And so I don't feel that there is any... Um any way that you can fail at this time, I feel like the only way you can fail is if you hide behind the fear wall. You know, if you if you hide behind the fear wall, you really aren't going to get anything done. I feel like though you're about to take control and walk away from anything emotional, overly emotional that you used to, to feel toward um, starting this new job or new work. And I feel like things are rolling in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is telling me that things are about to change quicker than you understand. You've been putting it off. You've been putting off um, with the Three of Wands. You've been putting off your destiny. You've been putting off... Um being successful because you're so much behind the fear wall that you couldn't see a way to take control and move forward. But the thing is this, is when you do finally take control like the emperor and you do decide that you're going to walk away from anything that was in the past that didn't serve you, that things are going to start moving along quicker than you realize. And you're going to wonder why you waited. Um, Knight of Wands tells me you're really passionate about it. You're scared of getting screwed like you did before, right? Um, but I don't think that's going to happen in this work, in this job. Um, I feel like you've been overthinking it a lot, and I think that, um, yeah, you're finally going to speak up and show people who you are, dropping your burdens too heavy to carry, right? Um, okay, so let's look at this uh, judgment card in the reverse. Uh, judgment card in the reverse is the chariot. So I feel like this person sort of comes into your life quickly and then they're gone quickly. They do leave a little bit of sunshine for you, though. They might let you know that, you know, that you're looking great and um, um, that they're quite attracted to you still. Um, you looks like this knight of swords here, this chaotic energy is going to cause a tower of some kind. So let's look at that. The Knight of Swords and the Tower is what we want to clarify for um, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please, for the week ahead. 
What are you not expecting that's going to be changing really quickly? What are you not expecting? Um, you're not expecting that you're actually going to come out of this whole think tank thing pretty soon. You are going to... Um, it's going to be a, an easier thing than you think, sliding back into this groove of working. And I feel like... It is more about um, feeling it intuitively than it is speaking it out. So I think that you're really not telling people what's going on, that you're going to be starting um, whatever it is, this kind of job. But this thing is going to bring you um, a, it's going to bring you a, a tower. And we have, um, it's going to open everything up. So the Empress is someone who is Libra and um, and Taurus. Um, she being in the reverse tells me that you're now thinking inwardly. You're thinking about yourself, taking care of yourself. What can you do? Uh, the Seven of Wands tells me you're no longer feeling um, Seven of Wands in reverse. You're no longer feeling defensive about any of this anymore. And that um, the Knight of Swords can't bug you with this, you know, uh, chaotic energy that that is moving forward towards you. You no longer feel like you're out in um, that you are out in the cold. I feel like you feel as though you've waited long enough and it's time to go after your passion. You've been thinking about it too long. Um, you need to drop those burdens, these burdens here, if you are going to... Um, uh, if you're going to take control of anything here, you're going to have to um, drop the um, mental burdens in order for you to be able to um, to move forward on the thing that you want. I think it's a new job or a new career or something that you're starting new that you already know. You already have these skills. This has been taught to you over many years. You actually come into this sort of naturally by, you know, this is something you learned in your childhood. So this is something very natural. And um, I feel like you're going to make a job or a business out of it. Right, so let's take a look here. Some advice for Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Libra. There we go. It says meditation brings answers. You're going to need to calm yourself through meditation. Um, no. What are we answering no to? Reconsider. Do not reconsider taking the job. Do not reconsider taking the job. This is your, this is your in. So do not reconsider that. Yes. What are we saying yes to? A year from now. A year from now, you, you said yes now. And a year from now, you're going to be in a way different place financially and mentally than you, um, than you really understand because you are going to find that once you do, um, show people your works, it is going to be helpful people that, um, are going to follow you. And within the next few months, I feel like things are just going to take off like completely towards, um, towards the heavens. I feel like you um, have finally let go of the hang-ups you've had about this thing. Um, you're looking at improving your health and remaining positive. And I think really, um, when you trust in the universe, that's exactly what you're going to get. So um, this looks like it's really positive. I hope it resonates with someone. If it did, please look below. Um, I'd really love to hear your comments if it resonated with you, Libra. Thank you very much for watching. And I will be right back with the reading for Gemini. Thank you. Hi, Gemini. Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for clicking here. Um, if you are um, looking for a private reading, if you are in the U.S., you can go to Wizio, w -I -S -I -O com, and uh, you can book me there. If you are in Canada, please either email me at lc at tenacupstarot.ca or um, go ahead and uh, look through my website. LC, uh, sorry, no, not LC, but tenacupstarot.ca is the, is the name of my website. Okay, so um, if anything that you want to know about this reading is going to be down below in the comment, or down below in the description, I mean. Um, and if you want to have um, your own reading, the best way is really to get a hold of me for a private reading. These are general readings which cannot resonate with everyone. If it does not resonate with you, please look up your moon and your rising sign. There is a link in my banner up above for you to uh, take a look at that information. Okay, so welcome to your um, energetic check-in for the week ahead. I would really love if you would like and subscribe and share videos just because that's the way that I can stay on this platform and continue to offer free content. So I thank you so much for supporting my channel that way. You also can support my channel by asking for a private reading.
All right, so we're just going to cut these. They've already been blessed. And Gemini, here we go. We are going to talk about the overall energy of this reading, um, how your person is feeling about you, uh, how they view you, and uh, action and advice and the outcome. So let's go for the overall energy here. Overall energy is the... Um, the Knight of Wands, okay? So um, overall energy is passion, not a bad way to start. Um, and how does your person think about you? What does your person think about you? They feel as though you're very strong. So they feel as though um, you um, can't, you never look shaken. You never look like something's going on beneath the surface. And that is a little bit fishy because most people emote things that are going on in their lives. But most people see you as someone that really doesn't... Um, flinch when things are going wrong. Um, the um, How does your person view you? They view you as being pretty in balance and that you're taking care of business, that you're strong enough to take care of business. And the advice and action, it is <coughs> about balance and about keeping your balance. Um, and then we have the outcome, which is... Um, the Four of Swords. And, you know, I feel like your mental health has been suffering lately, Gemini. I feel like um, it's time for you to maybe just shut off the phone, shut off the TV, you know, either meditate, read a book, you know, just spend some time in the absolute silence by yourself where nobody needs anything from you. And that's really the best way for you to, um, to heal in order to be balanced here. So I feel like there is some justice coming here. Um, justice about a marriage. You could be um you could be getting a divorce at this time uh you could be um yeah, separation or divorce, one of the two. Um, then we have judgment. And judgment tells me that there is someone coming from your past to the present to help you clean your karma. This person is really looking forward to seeing you. You're looking forward to seeing them. You don't know yet because they haven't reached you yet. They've, um, they're going to be asking you if you can, um, go for coffee or see them or go for lunch. I feel like they have, changed so much since the last time you saw them that um, perhaps they feel like, you know, you might have these feelings and they might have these feelings for you. So let's do some clarification and see what's going on here. So for the overall energy is the Knight of Wands. Tell me about that. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And that tells me that, you know, just having passion for one night is not what you're all about. Um, you're um, more about having something that is um, substantial and has length, like when it comes to a relationship, that you're just not just about the passion. But I feel as though um, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse that your wish fulfillment is not just the passion. It's, it's the whole package, right? It's the Two of Wands. It's you choosing someone. Um, that may become uh, your wish fulfillment, but I feel like there's going to be things moving forward. But first, you have to take action, Gemini, and you got to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. So you're not only walking away from the eight cups of of um, of what you thought was good uh, energy here, good, um, yeah, good energy, good. Um, emotion. I think that you have been um, manifesting, walking away from a marriage. I feel like we saw that here, that there's, you know, justice here, that you're going to be uh, breaking up a marriage here. I feel like you have been thinking about that for quite some time and that you are the person who just wants to be the last person standing. You're the person who, um, who has to win at any cost. And, um, how is your person feeling? They're feeling like you have a lot of balance. They're feeling like you're very strong, that you're the person that takes control, that you will be successful in dropping all of the burdens, people, you know, the mental burdens, things that people have said to you that have not been kind. And um, I feel like uh, the Ten of Coins, um, I feel like your finances are about to transform. I feel like your person sees you as someone who's on the precipice of um, making a lot of money. 
um, doing something that you've never done before. But I think the only reason that you can do it, the only reason you're going to transform this, this money into a lot of money is because I think you're dropping these burdens and you're taking control of a situation. So you may be um, either selling something on your own or opening up a business. Um, nonetheless, we have temperance here and your person views you as someone who's quite a balance, even though all of this is going on. You're walking away. The relationship is going away. You are someone who's manifesting the wheel of fortune. You're manifesting walking away. You're going to transform your money. I feel like they see you, that you easily um, get people to do things for you, that it's very easy because they see you as someone who is in charge and in balance. Um, they see someone I'm very confident and I feel like that you seem to get whatever you want out of people when you ask them because they always want to help you. Um, I feel like right now as you leave your relationship that your, um, your funds could be a little bit tight, but I feel like there is a transformation coming with um, money. And I feel like there's also a transformation coming in relationship, that there is a really good relationship coming toward you here, or you going toward that good relationship. I see the two of cups, which is love and the sun and the hierophant. So I feel like you're getting out of a relationship because you are no longer feeling the way you used to feel about your person and it's time for you to move on. Now, you're trying to keep your balance here while all of this is going around, while you're speaking your mind and um, cutting people out as you need to, dropping burdens from, you know, all the things that have been done to you over the last while that you've been in this relationship. It's time definitely for you to start something new and something new that you love. So, or go into a new relationship. I feel like you have some romantic feelings that have been stirred up and that you want to try something new. Yeah, you're looking behind you and knowing that you wish things could have worked out differently there, but they didn't. Um, so you're wondering, is there love for me? Is Does the Empress still love me? Um, she is the one who is quite, um, quite intuitive. She is the one that... Um, has given you good advice before. Um, is she the person that you're looking for? Tell me about this Four of Swords, please. The outcome, Four of Swords. You're going to think about doing something about your mental health. There's lots of opportunity for you to do that. You've been waiting on that. And I'm not sure why you've been waiting on that, but you really want to take this new path and passion. And the King of Wands tells me that you have the confidence to do it. So why? Oh, you're waiting to close the chapter. I see. Okay. So you're waiting for this marriage to end. You're waiting for everything to be done in terms of legal. And you're waiting to... Um, to uh, be able to have this marriage closed out or whatever it was. It could have been just a, um, a relationship that was uh, committed or monogamous, I feel like. Um, so you could have lived together or maybe you were legally married. You don't have to be. But I feel as though um, that you are going to close out um, your marriage or relationship, whichever one it was, you're going to close that out first legally. And then once you have this, um, this chapter closed, then you're going to move forward on what it is that you're looking for here, possibly with either a high priestess or an empress. Either way, that person's highly intuitive and probably sees you coming anyway. So give us some advice then, please, Spirit. Advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. We have helpful people. So please um, reach out to friends and family if, if that's what you need to do in order to get things done. It really really is up to you um, whether or not you want to reach out to these people. But I think that overall forgiveness is in order. I know that when couples split, sometimes their friends do too. Forgive those people. Um, the situation will improve with them once they see that you're happy, um, that you're uh, recovering from a hard mental time. And um, I would say that waiting and looking for signs is probably the best bet before you move forward into this situation with the new relationship. Relationship here. It says, well, it says to take action. When should you take action? Uh, it's the perfect timing. So it might be now when you should take action, Gemini. Um, perfect timing is within the next few months. And a year from now, you won't even recognize your life. So um, I feel like there is uh, someone that you're moving forward to that's not coming forward to you. But I feel like you're getting out of a relationship which requires a... Um, 
a legal breakdown and closing of uh, a, um, a very committed relationship or a marriage, something like that. And I feel like um, you are going out to uh, take a pentacle in, you know, this this knight of pentacles um, is going to take in an offer to someone else. So I feel like you're going to offer someone else um, some time of yours, maybe to go for dinner, go on a trip, go wherever it is. But I feel like this is not the end of the story for sure, that it's only the beginning. Because once you decide to close that cycle um, in the marriage or the relationship, that's when everything is going to start rolling forward, um, including that wheel of fortune. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching, Gemini. Um, if you have any comments or if this resonates with you, please don't hesitate to leave them below. I would love to hear if this does resonate with you. I will see you next Thursday for your reading. Thank you. Bye-bye. I will be right back with a reading for um, Aquarius. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello Aquarius, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Um, if you're interested in having a private reading with me, if you're in the U.S., please book over at Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. And if you are in Canada, please just send me an email, Elsie at tenacupstarot.ca or visit my website, tenacupstarot.ca. I would really appreciate a thumbs up on this video. If you are um, liking the content here, it really does help my um, channel grow. So that is a way that you can um, help my channel grow that doesn't cost a cent. And uh, if you really do want a reading, another way that you can support me is by asking for a reading. Now, um, welcome to your energetic check-in for the week ahead. Uh, we are... Um, if you are interested in knowing what it means to have a general reading, please look below. There is a lot of details uh, down below in the description. Today we're going to look at some overall energy of the reading. We're going to look at um, how your person is feeling about you, how they view you, and the action and advice from spirit, and then maybe the outcome as well. And so, let's take a look here. All right, so we just need the overall energy for Aquarius, please. Overall energy for Aquarius. Overall energy is um, success and people watching you succeeding. So you are succeeding in public. You might be in the public eye. You might be someone who is a speaker. Maybe you're giving lectures, but um, people are noticing that you are really good at what you do. And so you have sort of become a little bit in demand. And um, I think that, um, you know, with this card being um, card of fire, which is Aries, um, uh, Sagittarius and Leo, I think that somebody, you know, might find you as attractive as well because of um, the kind of power that you hold within your words. Um, what is, how is your person feeling about you? Hmm, they're feeling like maybe you're not telling the whole truth or maybe that you're just keeping something from them and not really um, uh, displaying your affection, not really telling them exactly how you feel, which would be kind of commonplace for um, an uh, for an Aquarius, not really being um, forward with um, how you're feeling about them. How do they view you? Um, they view you as um, their cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, they absolutely are their cup of wine. They um, feel like you are their wish fulfillment. That's the action of advice from spirit is to take the opportunity. So your person um, is really sort of feeling as though you're you're the person one more one more um glass here and we've got complete and ultimate happiness here the overall is uh sorry the outcome is that this person is going to communicate with you so um aquarius if you're wondering if this person is communicating yes it looks like probably within the next week or so um uh, you've been healing from, I think it's arguments you've been having within yourself, not necessarily with other people. I feel like um, you're really hard on yourself and that you're not as kind to you as other people are. The thing is, is that, <coughs> excuse me, other people do see you as attractive and someone who's very in charge. And a lot of people like to speak with you, but I don't feel as though you're the person that really loves conversation. I feel like you avoid it, and um, sometimes you silently sulk away from a party or what have you that you don't really like to have um, the spotlight on you. And so having so much going on emotionally around you, I believe you're um, empathic and you just can't take that. Now, I feel like there is some, you know, some chaotic love here, some chaotic 
like energy that is that is really uh, crushing on you here. But I also feel like this person wants to bring some romantic love. But I think you want to um, go on a different path in passion. I don't think you necessarily are um, attracted to or are interested in this person who feels like you are their wish fulfillment. So what are you going to have success in here? What will Aquarius have success in, please? Why is the why is the cards of success here? You're going to have success in healing a broken heart. That's the three of swords. You're also going to have success in moving. You might be moving home or moving house. You could definitely just have decided that you're no longer going to be in this three of swords energy, that you're not going to overthink things, that when it comes time, if someone breaks your heart, you're just going to walk away and be done with it, that you can't be bothered to um, lament over what didn't happen. Um, yeah, you, you're just here on this earth to get your ten of cups that's what you want you want apex happiness you want um, happy life happy wife happy husband happy children you just want a happy family and you just want to be happy really um you have been waiting to speak up, though. You've had opportunities to speak up with other people, but I feel like you then get a little bit defensive, your energy gets thrown off, and you're kind of back in your head, back in the place you were before you came out into the light. I feel like that um, being in groups of people gives you a bad feeling because um, of something that happened in your childhood, perhaps, that wasn't, that isn't something you... Hmm, you know what, though? I feel, Aquarius, that it's something that you don't remember that went on when you were young that threw you off balance. And I think it happened at a party. And I feel as though that this is the reason why you sort of um, leave in the midst of a party because it just gives you a bad, bad feeling about things that went on in the past and in your childhood. So your person sees you as someone who maybe isn't very forthright, someone who doesn't necessarily lie, but someone who might deceive a little bit by not telling the whole, um, not tell, telling the whole, um, you know, giving them all the answers that they want. That could be because you don't really want to have a relationship at this point. I see the Three of Cups, which tells me that you're okay with just having short-term relationships um, uh, everywhere and not really um, having a monogamous relationship with one person. Um, the Devil en Energy tells me that um, really it's all about um, you really don't want to be stuck to any toxic energy. Um, that the Devil Energy tells me that sometimes you're scared Sometimes you really don't want to date, but that you really need companionship, but you don't necessarily want a relationship. I feel like um, the Three of Cups is basically what you like to do, that you don't really want to have to commit to a relationship, but you do want to be able to be healed enough to be able to... Um, to be able to um, be passionate with someone. But then when you're done, you're kind of like, okay, I'm done. I don't really want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> that's what I feel. I'm sorry if that's offending anybody, but that's that's what I'm getting in the cards here. The Five of Coins tells me that once you get the passion, that you don't really call back. And um, that's kind of the way you roll. <laughs> Aquarius, it's probably very specific. It's probably not for a lot of people. This may not be your reading. So I don't want to hear you coming for me in the comments. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm what I'm told to read, I read. And um, the cups, uh, the nine of cups here tells me that um, this person is coming from your past and they feel as though you are their wish fulfillment. And uh, that's how they view you as, as the wish fulfillment. They also view you as someone that they had um, either friendship or loveship or um, some sort of relationship in the past. Now, this definitely doesn't have to be love. I think it, I see enough passion here and enough water that I think it is love. Um, but I feel like someone from your past is coming forward to tell you that they have romantic feelings for you and that they've been thinking about you for a while. Um, the Page of Wands tells me that you're, they want to take you on a different path in passion, um, that things with this person are going to work out really well because of the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but I also see that this is going to cause a tower. Now, the tower has come out with the Six of Cups. So either you think this person is your soulmate or you think that they are not. Um, let's find out what's going on with this um, tower moment here. Tell me about the tower, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What kind of tower is this, please? Because a tower is really quick change, and it sort of changes who you are. You're never the same again after a tower. You learn a lesson, and you're never the same again after the tower. We have the Six of Pentacles, so reciprocity. We have strength. 
Uh, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so you're going... Um, I feel like you felt that this person was very honest with you in the past, but now you no longer trust them. You're going to be strong when they come forward, and you're going to attempt to give them reciprocity, but I don't think you trust them very much. You feel them coming soon, and you are going to give them a chance to talk to you about some sort of a relationship or friendship, a stable relationship. They may even ask you about marriage because they think that they have been manifesting new love with you and that you probably knew that anyway, because they also uh, view you as someone who's highly uh, intuitive, and uh, that you may need your intuitiveness to do the job that you do. But I feel like, um, yeah, that when this person comes forward, and they ask you for a relationship, that I think that you've already expected it. But I think that when they come forward, it is going to give you some sort of relief, some sort of balance. Tell me about this opportunity here, the four of cups, the opportunity is maybe either to move away or to move toward a calmer uh, mindset. And this person might be someone who helps you with temperance. Um, this person wants to bring in messages of love. They want to take control of the situation. They want you to pick them. They want you to pick their way to go with them. Um, they want you to um, be sure that you're healed. They are not going to stop until they have you. Um, you broke their heart before by using sharp words. There you are, Queen of Swords. And I feel like they're scared of that. So um, I also feel like here that the outcome is that they contact you by some quick means. Um, so probably not regular snail mail, but maybe messaging, um, maybe some sort of a text. Um, Seven of Pentacles says they've been waiting for a while. They've closed off their old relationship because they feel like you are the person who is their everything, the person who the universe has intended for them. So I feel like they've been watching you online. They want to come forward and tell you that they've had a terrible time finding a relationship, that they got stabbed in the back and um, that it came to a painful ending. But they're coming into you here, the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming into you to tell you that um, they have passion for you and they always did. They walked away from their old relationship with you in mind. They actually wanted to um, be left out in the cold um, so they could uh, work harder at being with you. So they worked really hard at getting their partner to leave them out in the cold they left their partner out in the cold and now this person is on their way to you Aquarius um, we're just going to ask the universe or ask spirit for advice more advice please for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter if you believe in the near future. So if you believe this will happen, you manifest it, it will happen in the near future. Um, I was going to say, don't stop believing. That's what, <laughs> don't stop believing, right? Um, you don't stop. Don't stop moving forward if this is what you want. I think that um, if you did have a relationship that broke, that there is forgiveness on the table. Um, this person is going to apologize. You'll apologize to them. I don't know that you'll get back together. Compromise. I don't know that you'll get back together into a relationship because, yeah, let go. This person really hurt you, I think. You're going to need to be assertive, find a peaceful re resolution, and that there's no need to worry. Why is that? Because um, if you ask from for help from others, you're going to receive it. Um, that you are kind of in recovery right now from another relationship. And they're saying that make sure that you're recovered before you take action on a new relationship. And it looks like if the universe feels as though you're ready. So um, when this person comes forward, I think that maybe you might uh, let them know that you're not into a monogamous relationship at this time, that if they want to come around and, you know, be your plus one, go to weddings, have a movie, maybe have dinner, that you're willing to do that, but you're not interested in getting um, tied down by anyone at this point, uh, Aquarius. So that is what I have for you this week. If you're interested in getting a reading with me, you know that information. Please look down below. I'd love to hear your comments and if this resonates with you. And uh, I'm going to go for now and I will see you next Thursday for um, another week of new energy. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.